Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. The second race in Malaysia is one of the hottest of the season and it heats up right at the start. The drawn out first turn is an invitation for overtaking. This is followed by a hard left into the second curve. With all the cars bunched together, that will bring anyone out in a sweat. Then there's the tropical heat to contend with. Uh, the temperature is only a little bit different to other circuits. The humidity has a very big effect on the people, the drivers. Um, have to be particularly fit to cope with the humidity. This is why the driver's fitness levels are so important. Only by preparing properly can drivers survive the onslaught of heat while wearing heavy protective race clothing. You have the helmet on, you have all your underwear and suit and overall and, and inside the car there's no airflow. So it really, it can get up to 50, 60 degrees within the car. Nevertheless, safety always comes first. These high-tech textiles protect the drivers from burns in the event of fire. Full protection for 12 seconds. 12 seconds that make all the difference. Uh, Nomex is, uh, is a fireproof material. And as you can see, our underwear, our overall, even our shoes, gloves, it's all made from Novix. The industry helps to keep the drivers cool. Up to 68% of the track can be driven at top speed. Incidentally, the lap record has been held by Juan Pablo Montoya since 2004. He sped his Williams around the circuit in 1 minute 34.2 seconds. The two long straights in the infield allow time to relax a little bit. Nevertheless, the Malaysian Grand Prix remains synonymous with driving at the limit. It's quite tough to be sitting in there one and a half hours, really working out strongly and concentrating. Um, it's, it's very difficult. It's no bed of roses in Sepang. With 150,000 spectators last year, the rapturous support expected in 2008 should make it worth the while. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.